All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the uh, post processing effects, which will bring out the uh, the lighting and the feel of the game to make it look more uh, cinematic, as you'll see uh, shortly. So to uh, do that, to add a post processing effect. Uh, what we need to, to do is uh, select assets then if you right click in the assets and then click create you should get something called post processing profile that as you see we don't see it in here which means is that we have to go to the asset store to uh, get that this actually is a free download that it was made by uh, Unity itself uh, which is pretty awesome. So type in post processing uh, stack. Click on that. And scroll down. And then click on. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so it's going to say import. So it's going to actually the download and then import. So I'm going to import this. Click import. Uh, click I made it back up and go ahead. Okay, all right, that is done and, and added. Also, uh, also save the scene by clicking File and then uh, click Save uh, Scene to save the uh, scene. I don't think I've been saying that in in the video, but I'll let you guys know now. Just go to File and then Save Scene. All right, and then once that is added, just go ahead and. Uh, right click or create a new folder and type in post processing profile is what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile and just in case go to council and click clear and as you see, there's an error here. So you double click that, it'll take you where the error is. Right here, we actually don't need this. Click on uh, delete. So it also will clear that the error out. So that is done. Because we're gonna we're gonna be able to play the uh, game to allow us to play the game. We don't need errors in there. So once that is done, uh, next what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, select assets again and we're going to add a, f a first character or third character controller so we can move around the game to see how the uh, the scene or the level looks so right click click on import package and you'll click on characters and go ahead and, and import Click clear, and we got uh, look for something that says standard assets. Double click standard assets, and then go down or scroll up, see where it says characters, and you're going to select the first person controller. So this will allow us to move around, and then double click prefabs. And then you're going to select first person character controller. Drag it into the scene. Let's go ahead and find it. So bring this up. 
because if you don't bring this up, press play. See how we fall down? So hold on, hold down the uh, press escape so you can go back and unplay. So move this up so it's off so it's out of the floor and press play so if we play it we should be able to look around the scene by using the the uh, mouse to move over look around now as you see we cannot go go through the door so to fix that for for right now is we're to add coding uh, in the other videos to open and close the uh, door so to fix that uh, which I found out so go to DNK dev select the prefab and select door alright then you're gonna uh, collapse this by clicking this arrow and you're going to select this door door right here and then you're going to just uncheck mesh collider and then for the glass 01 go uncheck mesh, mesh collider this will apply uh, these changes to the uh, to all the doors so if we hit play Should be able to go through the doors, so we can uh, check out our our scene. All right. So, so next, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, add the post processing effects to it, so we can see how it looks. So go ahead and press Escape. And then, then stop the uh, play. And then uh, let's go ahead, go ahead and move over to the bathroom. And then go back to your folder that says post processing uh, profile. Right click inside it click create and then from create you're gonna click on post processing profile alright then we're gonna rename the post processing profile uh, I'm gonna call it horror PP for horror post processing or PPF our post processing profile press enter and then you're going to go ahead we're not going to select this main camera but the idea to add the visual effects is to add a component and then click on type it in post and you're looking for post processing behavior we're not going to add it to this main camera uh, we're going to add it to the first person uh, character control so select this and then select first person character character controller and then scroll down and then click add component and then click on post processing behavior or type in post and then look for post processing behavior once you have that done go ahead and drag the horror PPF inside the where it says profile then we're gonna go ahead and uh, and edit the uh, horror PPF so double click or select horror PPF and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first add the ambient occlusion to it so if you drop that down and you click on select it will add the ambient occlusion to it 
So let's let's see here. We're gonna increase the intensity a little bit. And also the radius. As you see, see how it's getting 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 a little bit darker. Probably uh, uh that that looks pretty good, probably increase the tension a little bit. And then uh there it is. Then next uh see where it says anti aliasing. Uh, you'll see it uh, later in some games if you see something like like jagged edges or anything like that. Uh, if you select anti aliasing, that would that will uh, clear that up. And then uh, keep it to the the default. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. And we're going to add a loom to it by selecting, clicking the, the drop down, and select loom. So, how this works is we dial down, let's see here, okay. increase the intensity, increase the intensity, but dial down the, the threshold. So basically what it does is, as you see, all anything that has light on it, it will add like a like a like a subtle blur as you as you see. See here. So uh, if you mess with the intensity uh, and the dial down the threshold, as you can see. So if you lower down the intensity, down the, the, the uh, threshold. It just adds like a little, little, little blooming, uh, a uh, little blur, blurry effect. So I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit, like that. So we can, can go around, around and and see it. Adds that uh, that uh, that uh, little, the blurry, blurry effect, back there. As you can see. All right, and then uh, probably I'm just gonna probably do a little bit, not not too much. Yeah, yeah, this is this is good. All right, then we're gonna unclaps this. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and add. Now this down too. Let's see here. We're going to add the uh, vignette on here. As you can see, it just adds like a like a little bit. So basically, this is a as you as you see, this will add like a like in a way like a like a scope or like a like a crap claustrophobic feel to it as you will see see here so we increase the intensity and it's almost like like those games where you add a um where the, where the person wakes up and um and has like this uh this like uh like a like like a feel to it in a way so we'll probably dial this down back a little bit probably to to to, to like to like here so as you so you close it and you and you can see it all right and let's try something here just to see it's almost like that uh that 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 uh, uh, periscope, or or you can do like a little bit like a feel if you had like the green, like that um, what's that uh, uh one uh, one movie that was made by by a group of college kids uh, uh 
I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, 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 Google that up and and uh, see. All right, so uh, let's let's see here. Okay, so as uh, you can see, you just add that uh, a smoothness to it as well. Just playing around, just to uh, just see anything. And if you wanna, uh, if you wanna uh, uh, re, uh, re, re reset everything, oh, oh, this looks this will be good. This would be good for for first person type type thing. If you wanna re reset it? You can just click on this, click re reset, and now re, re reset everything. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add a little tendency a little bit like uh, like so, probably, and add the smoothness a little bit. Uh, like so, probably just make it a little bit down. This is good enough. All right, next, next to what we're going to do is we're going to add the add the grain uh, to it. By clicking on grain. As you see, that adds that uh, like I said, that little sonic type hill type feel to it, or Resident Evil type feel. But but we're not gonna make it too grainy. So I'm gonna drop the intensity down a little bit. Move in, zoom in by holding the uh, right mouse button, pressing W and uh, W A S and D to move around. We can uh, uh, see the the grain. See how the grain looks in the scene. Also, if you press play, you can see you can see it. That grainy, uh, grainy feel on, on on everything. Okay, so uh, go ahead and press escape and stop play. And then next, uh, what we're going to add here is we're going to add, which will add add an awesome, awesome uh, cinematic effect to it. If you set color grading set to neutral. Uh, you can mess around with, with with the settings and play around with it, but to add, which I saw, which is pretty cool with this post processing effect, you go to filmic. See, has that awesome looking um, uh, a film feel that it adds the settings for you. So as you see, 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 you got that awesome film feel. You want to get rid of this grid here to get a better look as you if you want to go in play mode to uh to see it go to gizmo and click on uh, uncheck show grid and that will move move that grid and this will add that uh that um and it will add like a like a good uh awesome like like feel to it and you can mess around with the uh, settings here so let's see here So saturation pushes the intensity of all colors. So you can dial it down. Have that little. Uh, uh, it actually has that that little um that that horror feel to it. We dial it down. Also, you can dial it up. 
also adds a, a, a makes it a little bit 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 intenser too. Dial it up. Uh, it definitely adds that. It adds a little bit of that uh, feel to it. Also, we can do a uh, try to contrast. So that looks. That looks looks not not that bad. A little bit uh, dark there. Let's check out temperature. Set the white balance to custom color to temperature. Let's see how that looks. That doesn't look, look that doesn't look look that bad. So let's see. Let me see if I dial it. Nice, nice. Yeah, you can play around the with, with, with these settings and see see uh, how you how you like them. Uh, just uh, just uh, look at the uh, look at these these settings here. And also, you got something uh, that's called post process post exposure here as well. Yeah, it has that has that cinematic realist realistic look look to it as you see see as it uh, everything's coming come coming together on on here it just looks look pretty awesome to be honest with you um, without the two down also like I said you can reset the settings uh, by just clicking on on a re reset but I'm gonna keep it to film it, and uh, let's see. I'm gonna probably dial down the saturation a little bit, and also the contrast, and I'll uh, probably do the temperature, temperature or I'm gonna do the temperature a, a, a little, little bit up, uh, up there. All right. As that, uh, as that awesome look to it. So we press play. See, it has that uh, awesome. Awesome feel to it. Uh, we can uh, increase the lighting a little bit. And some of the rooms. But but so far it's it, it looks uh, looks pretty good. Uh, so so far. Go ahead and check out the classroom and more. Let's check out the lobby. I I do something with the lighting in the in the in the lobby and the classroom and more. So far as you see, it's it, it look looks pretty awesome. So if you want, you can change up the, the lighting and also uh, try uh, try try different lights on here. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. Let me stop, and then um, and that's uh, pretty much it. So so pretty much uh, we're done with, with with this this part of the lighting. Next, we're gonna add something called light probes, and then uh, we should be be done uh, in the uh, uh, next uh, video. If you guys uh, like these tutorials, uh, please like and subscribe. And also, uh, if you want to learn more about uh, creating games uh, with Unity and also learn more about uh, this awesome lighting, uh, click on the Amazon affiliate link below. It should give you more uh, details about uh, lighting and creating games. And also, if you want to 
uh, support me in making more tutorials, uh, please support my Patreon link below. Other than that, see you in the next video.